Sometimes in video games you will stumble upon easter eggs and secrets that developers and designers have tucked away that so happen to honour YouTubers who have perhaps discovered a secret area during their playthrough. Because they have played an indie developer's game constantly, help to bring awareness, make their titles popular and basically put the developer on the map. Or maybe because the developer has just enjoyed watching a YouTuber's content over the years. And for whatever reason, we're going to check out some more of the best YouTuber Easter eggs in video games and right here on The Easter Egg Hunter. It was in 2017 that Italian developer Andrea, also known as Batandi, started work on a Doom mod and a non-profit fan-based video game that is a love letter to Konami's legendary franchise, Castlevania, as this is Simon's Destiny. And it is during the early part of the second level after having to dodge several floating Medusa heads that you can wander up some steps and where you can find this tucked away lever that will unlock a secret room just below and that is home to an easter egg dedicated to the angry video game nerd. That was some turkey. <laughs> And if you are wondering where these snippets exactly came from, then you can find them during James and Mike Monday's episode of Castlevania Rondo of Blood. Turkey would be great. Yeah! Oh, look at the side oh, of that turkey! Oh my god, that was some turkey! <laughs> Next up is IO Interactive's 2016 Hitman, as we are taking a trip to Colorado and to the Freedom Fighters mission, where you'll have to infiltrate a farm and a training camp for a private militia. Anyway, when you arrive, if you enter the compound via the gate located in the southeast corner of the map, it is just here where you can find these two guys at a workbench who will eventually have this amusing conversation. Also, I was watching the news the other day and there was this really messed up story. I mean, scary, scary stuff. Oh, please tell. So, apparently in Paris a while back, at some fashion show or something, there was this freak accident and over 70 people died. 70? You believe that? was apparently due to a faulty electric cable near a puddle, but what freaks me out is, how can a puddle kill 70 people? That's insane. So it appeared that they're all lured to this electric puddle, drawn to it somehow, and then <laughs> dead. That's pretty messed up. We're living in strange times. And if you don't know what they're referring to, well, this was put in as an easter egg to reference the Achievement Hunter episode where Gavin Free showed Jeff how he managed to electrocute 70 people by sabotaging a floodlight and by only using a small puddle. Be careful not to silence your gun, otherwise no one will show up. Alright, this was cool. So, uh, they didn't go in the puddle, they just started bagging. They were taking it in turns, like right, one right. would bag, the next one would bag. And uh, we actually got a lot of the bodies into about oh, until then. It went a little bit too close to the sun. <laughs> And uh, there goes that guy as well. <laughs> Once again, ran out of dudes. It was in 2018 when the popular British video game critic, esports and gaming commentator and YouTuber John Bain, also known as Total Biscuit, passed away. And since his passing, several developers have dedicated Easter eggs for him to honour his presence on YouTube and his dedication and love for video games. The first of which turned up in Triturnium Games' 2019 medieval hack and slash multiplayer, Maud Hell, where if you head to the map of the camp and walk out of the blue settlement gates to the left, it is here where you can find a peaceful spot beneath the trees and the final resting place of Total Biscuit. While just recently a second easter egg was found in Bethesda's Doom Eternal, as if you travel to the Super Gore Nest and peer through this upcoming window, it is in the darkness that you can find another tribute. while another touching tribute was created for YouTuber Markiplier. 
as the developers knew his father had introduced him to the Doom series, and after Mark told them that Doom will always hold a very special place in his heart, the creators decided to leave a special tribute and a book dedicated to Mark's father called How to Comb Your Mustache by Clifton M. Fishbuck, which can be found on the bookshelf within the Doom Slayer's room. Next is Ice Cream 2 and the Keplerian's popular mobile horror game, which features Rod the creepy ice cream seller who has come to the neighbourhood and this time has kidnapped your friend and neighbour Liz. Anyway, if there was an award for producing the most amount of YouTuber easter eggs in a video game, then this title would probably win it. Because at the start of the game, if you hop onto the pineapple computer in your bedroom and enter any of the following YouTubers on this list, and believe me, this is just a quarter of them, and then travel to the cinema, it is when you arrive that you'll find each one is projected onto the big screen as a special thanks from the developers for helping to promote and play their first ice cream game. While in Gary's Mod, the sandbox video game developed by British independent developers Facepunch Studios and published by Valve, it is on the 2017 map U-Turd, created by Assassin M4A1, where you can find multiple amusing and crazy easter eggs, including a lineup of four dolls representing Lord Minion 777, My Skirm, Markiplier and Jack Septicai after they would often play Gary's Mod together. Lead the way. Oh, hi. I didn't do anything. What's up, friend? What's going on over here? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going there, baby? Apparently, you're not boned. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Can we go outside? Our final easter eggs today can both be found in the 2019 RPG adventure and indie title Anodyne 2 Return to Dust, as after collecting enough cards and dust to power up the elevator, you'll be able to reach the Blue Veil Centre, and if you travel to the east of the lift, it is here where you can find an invisible boundary that we can actually clip through by continuously pushing forward and swapping between our human and vehicle forms where after successfully doing so we can now explore the Outer Bounds region and even drop down into the now rather empty area we just came from. And if you happen to explore the alleyways between these buildings where normally you would find these strange creatures, it is here where you can now stumble upon the humanoid characters of YouTubers Nitro Rad and She Says, who has intentionally been placed clipping through a wall to represent his show of Boundary Break. I hope it was worth it for you. 